hello guys welcome back to the quantity surveying workshop in today's video we are going to be calculating for the main get of an irregular plan and um, this is the plan we are going to be using for this video before i start i would like to plead for students to be conversant with building designs and building plans because um, your ability to interpret what is on paper helps a lot in measurement now how do we calculate the main get for this plan the first thing you do is to know the dimension on the plan whether it is in to in or out to out then after that you convert the irregular plan into a regular shape and if you see this plan the closest regular shape you can convert this plan to is a square or a rectangle so the next thing after you convert the shape of the plan to a regular shape you have to calculate the perimeter of the plan then after you calculate the perimeter of the plan then you have to calculate for the center line which is the get of the plan by adding or lessing the four corners so you add four corners if the dimension is in to in and you less four corners if the dimension is out to out please take note of that in order to calculate for the main get of this irregular plan here we are going to be adopting a method known as the cut and join as stated in our previous video now this cut and join method adopts cutting some areas of the plan and covering the plan to make sure that it looks like a, a square or a rectangle now how do we do that if you look at this plan it looks like a rectangle however there's a dent at this area now how do we cover this area to make it a regular square how do we do that we're going to be cutting here and we're going to be bringing it to this side please take note of that we're going to be cutting here and we're going to be bringing it to this side now if you look at our look at our dimension from here to here is giving us what 2000 and if from here to here is giving us 2000 that means from here to here also it is 2000 so this box or this wall would fit in to this space and once it fits into this space what can we see it has formed a regular rectangle however there is an extra wall here that is this wall we are still going to cut out for it so let's dive right into the calculation in order to calculate for the main gate of this building here we said to determine the dimension the dimension is what out to out it is giving us out to out a length of 6600 by 5000 now we calculate the um perimeter we said that our length our length is giving us what 6600 and our width is giving us what 5000 when you add them together what do we have 11600 times it by two we have what 23200 now this is the perimeter of this square minus this block work inside it is the perimeter of this square minus these two block work you know that we've already removed this wall and we've brought it outside so what is left is this two block work now what are we going to be doing to this two block work we're going to be adding it to this one before we calculate our gets so what we'll do is we're going to calculate for the dimension of this wall these two walls and we're going to be adding it to the perimeter now if you notice the dimension from here to here is 1000 and the thickness of our block work is what 150 mm now you know that there's another thickness 
at this place so if from here to here is 1000 and from here to here is 150 that means the dimension from here to this place will be 1150 and how many block do we have of it of that size so so we're going to be times in 1150 by what so so what we're going to be saying here is add So by 1150, which will give me 2300. And when you add them together, we're going to be having a total of 25,500. Now, this is the perimeter of this whole plan. But it's not the perimeter we're looking for. We're looking for the center line. And how do we find our center line? Now, if it is out to out, you less four corners. If it is in to in, you add four corners, just like it was stated in our previous video. So because of the dimension given here is out to out, what we're going to be doing is to less what four corners. That's four by two by half of the thickness of the wall and the thickness of our wall is what 150 which is going to be giving us four times two times half times 150 will give me what 600 and when you less 600 from 25,500 we are going to be having 24,900 and this is our main gate for this building so if you had um, adequate knowledge from this video please I would please that you like and subscribe to this channel because it will help the channel grow thank you for watching and see you next time